I was born here in Blacksburg and, and raised here. I went to Blacksburg High School um, and have moved away. I've had the opportunity to live in um, Ithaca, New York, Boulder, Colorado, Calgary, Alberta, um, and where else? San Diego. So um, I keep coming back to Blacksburg because I really do love it here. I, I love the state, I love this area, and I care about this town and the direction we're headed in. Um, I guess I can tell you a little bit about how I got to the point of running for town council. Um, I think when I really became politically aware um, was when I was a couple of months pregnant and we started dropping bombs on Iraq. And I had this horrible feeling that my child may someday be dropping bombs on Iraq or having one dropped on him. Um, and so from there, uh, just a huge awareness has grown of, of how I fit into the world, how politics affect me and my family and the rest of the world. And um, I got involved on a, a committee called Townscape when my son was just a baby, almost 18 years ago. And I was on that committee for about 15 years, and I just learned so much about Blacksburg and the issues going on. and. The, the way policies work. And while I was on that committee, I sort of got involved in committee after committee. I was on the rental permitting task force and um, started a neighborhood group in our neighborhood. Um, it was a representative of that, worked with the town a lot on that. Um, I was on several task forces along the way and eventually got to the planning commission. I was appointed to the planning commission and served a year on that. Um, I would have stuck with that and stayed on it, but we moved to Canada for a year, and that's when I went off the commission. Unfortunately, that's the year that uh, there was a huge rezoning on Main Street. You guys have probably heard about the whole Walmart issue and first in May. Um, so I guess just over the years, I've gotten more and more involved, and I have a very good understanding of how the town government works. I know a lot of people at Town Hall and the people on the council now. I know a ton of people in town all the way up from little kids to people my parents' age because I've been here a long time. So um, I'm very excited to hear from you guys because the college students, I'm a, I'm work in business here. I'm a businesswoman, so I, I don't work on campus. I, I don't get to interact with the students as much as maybe John does on campus. So um, as far as professionally about, <coughs> I've had several different jobs over the years um, because motherhood was my most important job. So I've worked out of the home and, and done things over the years. I started a business um, managing rental properties from my home when my kids were small. And I ran that for four years and sold that business. And I'm now working for a local contractor, Shelter Alternatives. Anybody heard of Shelter Alternatives? We're a custom home builder. And I was hired three years ago because the um, owner of the company wanted to find a way to um, provide a service to the town and to homeowners to make their homes greener, their lives greener, more, more comfortable, more healthier. So we created a company called Energy Check. And we do energy audits and home retrofits, which make houses much more energy efficient, but also more comfortable, healthier to live in and cheaper to maintain the utility bills, et cetera. So that's what I've been working on a lot. Um, I, I guess my passions lie in, in my family and in sustainability and environmental <coughs> issues and community. So with that, I'd love to hear from you guys.